everyone, new video for you today. This one is a art journal page. So I kind of wanted to change things up a little bit. I was kind of getting bored of doing scrapbooking. So I thought I'd do a little art journaling. So that little page that you had a sneak look at there, that purple one, it is on my Patreon. So that will be linked below if you want to have a look. I went a little bit art journal crazy this day and did like four or five pages. But I absolutely love it. This art journal is actually a bullet journal, but it is a plain paper one rather than a spotted one. And it really took the mixed media well. I was very impressed. Um, so I'm just using some black paint here. This is the Dilusions paint. It's very, very lusciously thick paint. And then I'm just kind of trying to do somewhat of an ombre effect with it. And... I won't lie, it was a little bit difficult trying to mix the colours and and try and get it to go across two pages. As you can see, I had a little helper with me, uh, Mia and William were on the table with me painting. Obviously, trying to do this and film this in the six weeks holidays, I'm going to have the kids around. So if you can see a little hand popping across, she was painting with me, um, which is the only way I can get them to sit still enough for me to be able to do <laughs> these videos. That's why I'm glad a lot of these are voiceovered. Um, but yeah, so I'm just trying to pull that black across I didn't feel like it had ombre it very well in the middle so as you can will see I do use a lot of paint and it, it did take a little while to dry but this journal just took it all and it it curled a little bit but like it didn't warp like the paper didn't break it 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 took the weight of the paint really really well and looking at the journal now it has dried really well that bit at the bottom there I was just washing my brush in between to try and help blend the colors so that's why at the bottom there it looked a bit weird because I hadn't dried my brush properly but again I, I do go in with the black again and then the white again <laughs> just to try and get this effect so the reason why I'm going for these colors is because I am going to be journaling about school and these are about the kids last days in their years at school um mia is about to go up to year two she's just finished year one and william is just about has just finished nursery and he's about to go into reception which is like i don't know what that is in other countries i think that's like preschool or something um so yeah so they had some school photos taken. They're in the same school, obviously, but just different parts of the school. And um, they're just beautiful. And I just wanted to kind of journal about the photos being taken and then just kind of just journal the, um, the how I felt and how I feel about them going up in, and growing up and stuff. So I'm just using this stencil. I did um, have a little problem with my memory card. <laughs> it was full and I didn't realise, but... It's the same thing as what I'm doing at the top here. Basically, I'm just using this little stencil, which is from the Lollipop Box. And I really like these kind of chevron triangles. And I'm using a folded up wipe. I don't. I do have a blending tool, which I don't like. I do also have a makeup sponge, which a lot of people use to put paint through stencils. But to be completely honest with you, I really could not be bothered to go upstairs to get my blending tool. So I just folded up a, wipe, a baby wipe. And as well, I didn't... Um, take the colour off the stencil before I started the black so, so very lazy but you know what it works I do have to clean up the edges a little bit because it's hard to be precise with the wipe but it worked really well and I didn't really have to get too much colour on the uh, use too much paint so I definitely recommend if you can't be bothered to or just doesn't don't want to pay out for a blending tool folding up baby wipe works wonders so all I'm doing now, these are the photos, um, and I'm just kind of thinking whether I wanted to um, mat them or, or something. I just thought, you know what, my distress tool is handy, where I just filmed the, the page before, and I thought I'd just use this. It is blunt, so I am needing to get a new one, but I absolutely love the effect. I just want, they looked a little, where the triangles are not perfect, I didn't want the photos to look too perfect, so I've kind of crinkled them and, and distressed, the, distressed the edges, and... Yeah, the photo, I swapped the photos over mainly because there's a lot of white space. Because William is so small, um, there is a lot of white space above his photo um, and around here because he is so tiny. And he's wearing a white t-shirt. So I kind of put him on the left side so that his photo kind of popped more off the um, background. And then do a little bit of stamping. I'm not too sure where this stamp is 
from but it's got a load of different like fonts and stuff on so I've done awesome and I've done you inspire me every day they do inspire me to get up and to make something of my day now I have stamped the word funny on the right hand side there you will see why in a moment you'll probably see why already but I'm just using my white Uniball Signo pen just to do some journaling. I kind of see this being done by Adele on Inky Quill and I wanted to give it a go and I tried it on the page before this, the one that's on Patreon, and fell in love. And I just, I just wanted to do white journaling on everything. So I'm just writing here just about um, this was taken a few days before the end of nursery and that he was so shy when he first started nursery and this photo just shows how much how far he's come and how much he's relaxed and I just know he's going to do really well in reception. I just put how old he was just so when I do flick back I, I, I'll know anyway. And then I'm just going to go over to the right hand side here and just do some journaling about Mia. She is going up to year two which sounds crazy but i'm just talking about this her face in this photo she has such a wonderful beautiful smile as you can see that i'm journaling and when someone tells her to smile she pulls this face and she loses her top lip <laughs> bless her she's so gorgeous and she doesn't generally have a really beautiful smile but when she when she's feeling awkward and she's being asked to smile she does do this face which is just hilarious so i thought that i'd just journal that Again, I'm just adding a little bit of detail to these triangles just to kind of help them pop off the page just a little bit. And I really like how these how these look. And then I do do it as well on the left hand side with a black pen. And yeah, this journal page is nearly done. I think I just do add just adding little details here and there just to kind of add a little bit of uh, details to the page and yeah I absolutely I do have my pen dies so I do have to grab a different pen just to add a bit more detail to these triangles and yeah this these pages are nearly done I absolutely love them so I'm definitely going to be doing some more art journal pages coming up in the coming videos check out those but thank you so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you all in my next video bye